Where seek out tyranny, there seek out tyranny. Not just in barrels of guns, not just in prisons. Not in the cell alone, where third degree goes on, hot in the night without challenged by sentry shout. Not where in death bright smoke prosecutors words provoke, not just in the emphasis of wall tapped Morse messages. Not in confession told, not in the judge's cold death sentence, guilty, not in the military. Halt and the snapped out aim, fire and the drums of shame, scattering the squad as it drags the corpse to the pit. Not in the furtively guarded and fearfully breathed words the message bore pass through half open door. Not in the shh revealed on the mouth by fingers sealed, nor confined tyranny yet to rigid features set. Peering through bars that still show through that iron grill, cries that dumb throats retract stopped in the cataract or inarticulate tears deepening the silent fears in pupils' griefs dilate, darkened by looming fate. Not only in viva cries track down all tyrannies surging on tiptoes strong in the acclaiming song. Where seek out tyranny, there seek out tyranny. Not just in mustard bands, tirelessly clapping hands, Fanfares and opera stalls, just as crude, just as false. Monuments, art galleries, though cast in stone, speak lies. Yes, each framed lie can crush, even in the painter's brush, or in the car with slight noise gliding through the night. Where it draws up and waits, throbbing in front of gates, there, omnipresently, more than your ancient god. There seek out tyranny, in school, in nursery, in father's counseling rule, and in the mother's smile. In where a stranger puts questions that touch the roots, answering the stranger's gaze, what the child always says. Not just where barbed wire twines, not just between book lines, more than in barbed wire and slogans that stun you. There, more discreet, it is in a wife's parting kiss, near and at your back. When, dear, will you be back? In words that folk repeat, how do you do's in the street? In the then suddenly softer handshake a moment after. Making your lover's face found in the meeting place freeze on the instant because it is present, not only in the interrogation, but too in love's confession in the words, sweet wine like a fly in the wine. For even in your dreams you are preceded, in the bridal bed and in the desired bread. Nothing you think fair, but it has already claimed your bed it did share, even when love was named. It is in the plate, the glass, in the nose and the mouth. It is in the cold and the dark, in the outer air and in your house. As if through an open window come the reek of carrion, or somewhere in the house there was a leak of gas. Talk to yourself and hear tyranny, your inquisitor. You have no isolation, not even in imagination. The Milky Way through it becomes a frontier terrain scoured by beams, a minefield and in the star, a spy hole in a war. The swarming canopy of the sky is a monstrous labor camp. The orator tyranny speaks from bells on the ramp. From the priest to whom you confess, from his sermon no less, church, parliament, these and the rack are but stage properties. Open and close your eyes, still its scrutiny lies, upon you like a sickness, following you with memory's quickness. Harks at the wheels of the train this is their refrain. You are taken prisoner, prisoner. On the hill, by the sea, you inhale the same reminder. In the lightning flash it is seen, in every unforeseen little noise its dart lights up your astonished heart. 
where you rest, there it is, in boredom's manacles, in showers that forge nearby, bars that reach up the sky. In the snow, whose fall sheer as a cell wall hides you while it looks through the eyes of your dog. For it is in all you intend, in your tomorrow it is at hand. Before your thoughts it is aware, in your every movement it is there. As water cleaves the river bed, you follow and form it, but instead of peering from that circle anew, out of the glass it looks at you. In vain you try to escape its wrath, Prisoner and jailer, you are both. It works its own corrosive way into the taste of your tobacco. Into the very clothes you wear, it penetrates you to the marrow. You detach your sense from it, only to find no other thought will come to your mind. You look about, but what prompts your gazing? You use your eyes, but what do they catch? Already a forest fire is blazing, fanned into flame by the stick of a match where carelessly you threw it down as you walked and forgot to tread it in. And now it guards you in the town, in field and home and the factory's din. No longer you feel what it is to live. Bread and meat, you do not know them. You cannot have desire nor love. To stretch out your arms is now denied you. Thus does this slave forge with care the fetters he himself must wear. You nourish tyranny when you eat. You beget your child for it. Where seek tyranny? Think again. Everyone is a link in the chain. Of tyranny's stench you are not free. You, yourself, are tyranny. Like a mole on a sunny day, walking in his blind, dark way, we walk and fidget in our rooms, making a Sahara of our homes. Because where tyranny is, everything is in vain. Every creation, even this poem I sing, turns vain. Because it is standing from the first at your grave, your own biography branding, and even your ashes are its slave.